Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my eBay auctions. Here we have a 1999 Parker Nightfly. I think uh, they call this the uh, NFV 1-4, I think is technically, but, but don't hold me to that. You, if you're bidding on this, you probably know more about these than I do. Um, I, I have not seen another one of these. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a white pearl finish. Uh, it probably just looks white in the video, but hopefully it'll show up a little better in the pictures. Uh, just a, it was a white, black, white three ply pit guard. It's kind of turned kind of parchment as most fender guards do when they're this old. Um, this is the one with the active piezo preamp on board. Brian, if you can flip it over for me. Um, cool little battery compartment. Uh, and again, you guys probably already know this, but uh, just flip that out and the battery comes out. So it's uh, real easy to take in and out. Um, and uh, unlike some of the other models, you can flip it back over now. I think this is nice. It has this little push button. What this does is it actually engages the battery for the piezo. Um, so now th I'm not. I'm just playing through a standard uh, electric guitar amp, so this doesn't really sound like an acoustic. But if you got this toggle switch all the way back, that's just the piezo, piezo, whatever you call it. In the middle, you're using your pi your piezo and the magnetic pickups. Forward is just the magnetic pickup. So if this button's not depressed and you flip to the back position you get no sound and that keeps it from drawing power on the battery when you plug the cable into the jack like with most acoustic electrics or bases with active preamps once you plug your cable all the way in so it's engaged it's drawing power from the battery this is nice to have that disconnect so you don't run your battery down when you're not actually using that so, alright so um, we're just going to give you a little taste of what each pickup position can do clean and then we'll go through them all again a little dirty uh, this is an awesome tremolo system. This is the first one I've actually played of these and it's amazing how well it does. You can lock it um, so it's dive only or unlock it so it's full floating. Um, we're just going to keep it in the dive only mode uh, just to keep things simple. So uh, we're going to start on the neck pickup and work our way down. So So here's the neck in the middle together. Is just the middle. middle pickup and the front uh, coil of the humbucker in the bridge position.
Okay, now we're just going to strum a little bit on the piezo. Okay, here we are, just going to give you a little taste of the dirty, um, dirty sound, and um, again, this is just a solid state amp. See, the cable goes right to this Cube 30X, and I'm just using, like, the metal channel on this. And, of course, I know, I mean, there's all kinds of different distortions and gains, so this is just some basic something on the neck and then something on the bridge, uh, and, and just using the, the whammy bar a little more just so you can kind of get a taste of it. Take it away, Brian. <laughs> So there you have it. This is a great little guitar. Um, it's really, if you're a guitar teacher or if you've got that gig where you can only really bring one or two axes, bring this in a backup, and man, you're all set. Um, these are great guitars. It's too bad they don't make them anymore. The neck feels great. Um, I think what I like about this one is when I try to mess around with, with uh, stuff, if you notice, the strings are kind of offset a little bit, and I don't know if this is just part of Ken Parker's brilliance. But like I have trouble sometimes when I'm messing around on the first string of it falling off the edge. And see there's a little bit more room. There's about a millimeter or two more space between the high E string and the edge. And that kind of keeps it on. Um, it still lines up with the fields of the pole pieces. Um, and I don't, again, I don't know if that's intentional or just how this particular neck is set in. But uh, man, this is a great guitar. And so I hope whoever gets it enjoys the heck out of it. Uh, so thanks for checking out my eBay auctions.